Okay, so now that we have our child theme installed, we are going to start making some customizations to, um, to the design or to the theme, as it were. So here's what our website looks like right now. I think the next thing we'd expect to see in a normal law firm website is probably a phone number up in this area right here. Now, one of the reasons we use Generate Press is because it has a widget in the header. So I'm just flipping between tabs here, but you wanna go back into your dashboard into appearance and into widgets. And now we're gonna see this header widget, which is currently blank, which is why there's nothing there. We're gonna drag text in there. And we're just gonna say uh, 651-200-0000. Gonna save that. And just like that, we will have our phone number up there. Now, we're gonna wanna do some formatting to that. So I'm going to use this JS Fiddle tool to share some code that you can use. Um, this might look a little bit overwhelming. There's two different versions here. There's this one, if you link directly to the website. And then the other option is, this is the embed. There is no JavaScript involved, but we, we're dealing with HTML, which is where our phone number is, and then the CSS, which styles the, the phone number. The result, this is what we're going for. So I'm gonna actually take this from the link version here. I'm gonna start by taking the HTML and I'm gonna put that into the widget instead of this phone number. Now when I paste this in, I need to make the edit to both here, which is the code that makes it so that it actually operates as a link on a smartphone, and then also here. So you need to put your phone number in here with no dashes and then put it in here with whatever formatting you'd like it to show up um, on the site with. So we're gonna save that and then we're gonna go back to the site again and we'll see it look slightly different but it still won't look the way that we want it to because we need that CSS coding which is going to style what we have here. So again, we're gonna go back to the edit fiddle piece here, I'm sorry, the JS fiddle. We're going to highlight all of the CSS code here in this CSS panel, which is over on the right. Or again, if we were in this embed version over here, we would click on the CSS and we would highlight all this and copy it. Um, I'm going to paste that into over here when we are in our manage themes, we're under appearance, there's an editor. And this is actually one of the advantages of having a child theme. It really straightens out um, how simple this is. If we were looking at, for instance, the full generate press theme, you don't have to do this, just look at what you're looking at. Look at how complicated this is. Look at how many files are over here. But now that we're dealing with our child theme, it's actually pretty simple. It's just our one style sheet, which is what we're gonna customize right here, and we don't have to worry about our changes being overwritten because it's in a child theme. So I had copied the stuff from JS Fiddle, the CSS code, I'm gonna paste that in here, and I'm gonna click update file. Now when I go back to the live website and I refresh, I'm gonna see my formatting. I'm gonna walk you through, um, <laughs> great, whatever. I'm gonna walk you through how to make modifications to this in the next video, and we're gonna play with uh, resizing the logo here too, but now you can see our phone number is up and running, which is great.